I have pe found people on Christmas Day laying out new projects and I do get calls from people at 3 a.m. in the morning saying they're stuck in a ditch somewhere. So, so science definitely never sleeps within Whiteham Woods. So my name is Nigel Fisher. My official job title is Conservator of Whiteham Woods. My job is actually to coordinate all the management and the research within a thousand acres of woods. Every day is different. I could be setting up new research plots. Uh, I could be trying to find certain soil types for certain researchers. I could have school groups up here showing them about science. The variation is huge. But the amazing thing about walking around the woods is there's always hidden projects. You just have to get your eye in. Once you've got your eye in, you realise you are walking through a sea of science in the woodland. So Whiteham is famous for the long-term data sets, which includes birds, small mammals, badgers, grasslands and climate change. And we are unique in the world from that respect. So this is one of our bird boxes. There's over 1,100 of these boxes within the woods. They're for blue tits and great tits, and this is part of the longest running biological research data set in the whole of the world. And so uh, I think there's about eight people at the moment checking these boxes, uh, and they check them from the date of first egg lay all the way through to when the last chick fledges. People often kind of come to the woods and ask us, why we haven't learned everything there is to know about a woodland within 75 years. And um, the importance of the work we do is to look at long-term cycles, see how things are changing, and perhaps to predict how things are going to change in the future. So we have um, these dendrometer bands uh, around the tree, measuring the, the tree's girth and how it's expanding. Um, one of the longest running projects in the woods is actually looking at winter moth caterpillars. Uh, we have a researcher in the wood who started looking at winter moth caterpillars in 1958. The winter moth caterpillars are the major food source of the blue tits and the great tits. So actually understanding the life cycle of the caterpillars and the biomass of caterpillars in the canopy is kind of a key part of some of the research. As humans, we know so little about the natural world. The more we learn, the more there is to find out. And the amazing thing is at the moment technology has moved in huge leaps and bounds, especially in the last decade. And now we can look at ecosystems in ways that we'd never dreamt of before. If you wander around the woods, you'd actually see there's ground monitors measuring how much light is coming through canopy. And then to correlate with this, we have satellites going overhead. So we can look at whole health of forests now from using satellite data and ground truthing. We're now continuing back up to the chalet, which is kind of the research hub of the woods. Uh, this is the open lab and I expect the ash dieback researchers to be in here shortly to be looking at soil samples. Uh, in the other labs today uh, we'll have people uh, looking at small mammals and bird recordings. Yeah so I'm, I'm here today kind of taking all the glory for everything that happens in the woods. I couldn't possibly do this without um, my, my team of foresters, uh, my team of admin support. And then I, I also couldn't do any of this without the kind of cooperation of all the researchers. Even in the woods behind me here to kind of my left hand side, I know there's five projects going on in exactly the same area. So none of the researchers can work without actually understanding what the other researchers are doing and all the data sets interlink as well. So basically, yeah, we are a, a full working team and yeah, without everyone pulling together, we've got no chance of going anywhere.